the coffee pot's on, the welcome mat's out. We know what our being's all about. Hey, this is Marcus coming to you from Sutton RV live, but I wanted to give you a little heads up. I'm going to be gone next week, so I'll get more into that later. But I wanted to talk today about our vengeance. We have one of these left. And usually when there's one of something left, people think, oh my gosh, that's not the best. Truthfully, it is. I don't know how it's been passed over, period, but it's absolutely one of our best units, period, to the point where I felt like I should talk about it and uh, kind of expand on that. So I got one of our experts, Mike Perkins, involved in this and see if he could kind of show us this unit a little bit because quite frankly, it's gorgeous. Mike, how you doing? Marcus, how you doing? Good, good, good. good. Welcome. Hey, you know, I heard a rumor. We're in toy hauler season. Yeah. I heard George just dropped another $30,000 off this price. Why would he do that? You know, I don't know. There's insanity about him we will never understand, but we love him. There is, absolutely. Um, guys, this is the Vengeance by Forest River. This is a toy hauler with a 12-foot garage. This is the 38L12. This is about 43 feet in length. This is a touring edition. Guys, this is awesome. This is LED awesome. LED lighted awning. This is cool going down the road. 5,500-watt gen. 40 gallon fuel station, six point leveling station. This baby is loaded, Marcus. And George took another $30,000 off. Are you kidding me? What I can't figure out is why this is still here. Um, I don't know. I have no idea either. And that's why I wanted to feature it today because there's no reason to have such an awesome unit still here. You know, Marcus, toy hauler season's kind of funny. We're just now starting to break into toy hauler season. Okay. Everybody's getting ready for Dune Fest. Everybody's getting ready for Memorial Day. So, you know, the buyers are coming out. They're looking. And so what you're saying is toy hauler buyers are generally very particular by season. They are. Okay. So to be a particular buyer, this would be the right unit to be particular about, right? This would be absolutely. Right on. Hey, just a little bit about the outside of this, Marcus. Uh, this is aluminum frame, uh, fiberglass laminate siding. Uh, so your sidewall, stri your strength is in your sidewalls. Frameless windows, and you know, here's kind of a misnomer. People want, they want to know why frameless windows over dual pane. Well, yeah. if you ever broke a seal on a dual pane, you get moisture in them. Frameless windows, you can actually wash the outsides of them and not have all the dirt and the gum and all that stuff build up and they're easy to maintain. Excellent. Um, like I said, 5,500 watt gen. What I love about toy haulers, fuel station and gen, you can go anywhere and drop this off. You don't need electricity. You're fully self-contained. Uh, oh. The Vengeance 38L12 gives you 100 gallon fresh water, 80 black and 80 gray. You could spend two weeks in this thing with just you and your family and have a really good time. Wait, you're saying the people that have their toys, their toy haulers, they take showers? They do. They need 100 gallons of water? Do. Have you ever been over in Eastern Oregon at China Hat in the middle of summer? Never. Where it gets 110 degrees in the afternoon I and 30 degrees in the morning and that dust collects absolutely everywhere. Yes, toy hauler guys take showers and they love to wash their toys off and you have an external pressure washer on this just like you do on most of your other toy haulers and you can keep your stuff clean and you got enough holding tanks. There's the key. Keep your stuff clean. Who cares about us? That's right. The toys. The toys. I get it. The toys got to keep them clean. Um, just, yeah, just a little bit on the outside on this beautiful thing, but this is the touring edition. Your prized possessions are in the inside. This is going to make mama happy. If mama doesn't like it, nobody, Nobody's, nobody's happy. Um, so let's take a look inside and I'll show you this has a 12 foot garage and I'm just going to go on let's up in here and it's totally informal. Let's go. It is. Go on up if you'd like. One of the biggest things that moms complain about is where do we put our coffee maker? <laughs> you gotta have the coffee when you get up in the morning, Marcus. <laughs> Check this out. It. Isn't this a beautiful LED light it is beautiful. flash? Beautiful three burner stove, nice deep oven for cooking. 
you have your microwave. You also have your outlet. You have access to your max fan vent right above your head so mom can just sit here and push a button. Cook this up, keep it clean. You got a place for your coffee maker there. It's or, a gorgeous kitchen, by the way. You got a place for your coffee maker here. Nice. Um, residential Fred, 20 cubic foot ice maker, full storage. If mama's not happy, nobody's happy, Marcus. I swear, this is beautiful. Um, they call this the Touring Edition. Guess what? We can come over here and do everything we want. We have an outlet right here. We have an outlet there. We have outlets over there, over there. I don't know. We have outlets everywhere, Marcus. I'm just noticing how gorgeous this kitchen is. It looks like something out of, I don't know, Italy in a yes. small little version. What I like is that the cooking is kind of set privately over there. So no one can get in your way, get in your pots and pans, and they, no one's gonna run across and hit a handle and fall down and all that other stuff. Plus, it's not too far from the garage, but it's far enough. And you know garage. what? And if you notice, if we walk into the garage, this garage is a toilet garage. The garage is closed up. This is the man cave. Mama's got the kitchen. Mama's happy. The men, we have the man cave. 500 watt amp. Those speakers right there mount to the outside as well. So you have nice. full surround stereo system inside and out. Two full awnings, LED lighted, awning off the back. And guess what? This is a ramp deck. 3,000 pounds on the ramp, 1,500 pounds on the deck, and it screens off. And you have a screen that comes down. Ooh, that's nice. The so in other guys, words, you can back up over your favorite swimming hole, put it out, dive right off, absolutely. have your party the whole time. Absolutely. That, you know, nice. that's the great part about this is because most parts you back in, your feet, you have to back into the water. Just use this as a diving board. I love it's it. Cool. Um, we got a big 29 inch screen TV. You see all the LED backlit lighting, yep. all LED lights. Um, this unit, because it is a touring edition, three ACs. One here, one in the kitchen, one in the master bedroom. You know what? I'm going to tell you from experience that rarely happens. Usually the ACs are inside, they're not in the garage. Right. So it is livable, and you have to open the windows and all that other stuff, but you actually have your own AC here. That's Thank awesome. You. Yeah, so you can fully close off this garage. You can actually make this a man cave so the kids and, and, and the family, when they come in riding, can actually come back, hang out on the deck, not have to drag all the dirty stuff through mom's kitchen and mom's bathroom and mom's bedroom. So Very cool. Really awesome. I'm curious, is it an oil-resistant floor also? This is a rubber oil-resistant floor as well. Um, what else is really cool? These are 5,000 pound a piece tie downs. They are tied right into the framing. That's awesome. The last thing you want to do is be going down the road and lose one of your toys and lose your bathroom. Oh gosh. And yeah. your wall. Oh yeah. And mama's horrible. kitchen. And you've got a bathroom? Wait, hold on. And we have a pass through bathroom. <laughs> That's awesome. Isn't that cool? Only in the touring edition, Marcus. Wow. Again, why is this even here? You know what? It's waiting for a home. That's what it's it doing. It's waiting, waiting for a home. It's waiting for that right person. Um, this thing, dry weight on this is about 14.8. Um, so you really are pushing those lines. You really want to be in that one ton doing. Um, Got it. You know, we do have the leopard trailer, pen, leopard running gear, uh, axles, bearings, all that. So it's all leopard. But they, they are kind of heavy. You so you got the it. toy to pull this and the toy is to fill it. This, quite frankly, is amazing. It is. It's absolutely amazing. Absolutely. Let's look at the bedroom. Let's take a look. Yeah, let's take... No, we got to take a look at this master oh, bathroom. Oh, I'm sorry. Look at the master bathroom. I wonder what's wrong with me, of course. Come on up. Go ahead. Master bathroom. Oh, you guys can check this out. Everybody can be happy in here. Nice. Marcus, you're a little over six foot. Yep. You can stand up in here All and right, take I'm a shower. You got to do that. Yep. I've never been in a shower with a guy, so sorry, Mike. Yeah, get out. yeah, I get you. Look at that. I'm 6'1", and I still have, how much is that? About, About four eight inches. Yeah, there you go. Put a little more than that. About at six, eight inches. Yep. Not bad. It actually is nice. Well lit and everything. I like it a lot. Very yeah, cool and solid, too. And solid. I like it. <clears throat> so if we come out here into the hallway, of course, we have the really nice drop down, you know, shades all the way around throughout the whole entire coach. We have our main control panel. Um, you can control your inverters here. You can actually control your amperage um, and really take a look. If you have a problem, 
um, you can switch from 50 amp to 30 amp. Now this is a 50 amp coach, three ACs, a generator, a full residential fridge with a thousand watt inverter just for that specifically, you run a lot of juice through here. So you want to be able to troubleshoot it and you want to be able to go from 50 to 30 amp in case you have an issue and that way you can still have power cool to your you coach. Control it like that. Absolutely. And then that way you can still start your gen if you have a problem. Will you show us the bedroom, Tom? We should get some cool music yeah, while you're doing that. This bedroom is awesome. Okay, this, isn't just <coughs> this is a king sized bed. Nice. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, it is. And I like the two windows on either side. Love the mirrored closet. That's awesome. What's that door go to? That door goes for more storage. And the one on, so you got lots of storage in the, in the uh, big closet. That's pretty much a walkthrough closet. And in this one, you have a place for a washer dryer. Nice. You can be fully self-contained. This could be a home away from a home. Here Man. Really cool. This is primo. Nice, a lot of, nice storage. Our clients need a lot of storage, but some of them also have CPAP machines. This is set up that you can put a CPAP machine right here and still run off of that. So everyone can sleep. So everyone can sleep. So mama can get a good night's rest and everybody can be happy. <laughs> and daddy bear, well, daddy bear sleeps soundly too. Exactly. You gotta tell you, the Touring Edition, they've done this right. I don't know why we still have this, Marcus, and then George, another 30,000 off on this. Uh, hopefully somebody this can be a really great second home for them thank you so much for showing us today hey tom let's walk down to the main room chat one more second with mike and uh, mike how long you been with us uh over the length of time about three and a half years what do you what, what's your favorite thing to sell or do you even have a favorite you know my my favorites on the on the lightweight and for the price point are my surveyors um toy haulers i love the toy haulers most of my friends are in toy haulers um Spent a lot of time at the coast, a lot of time over Eastern Oregon. I ride dirt bikes. So toy haulers are definitely a necessity. Likes the toys. I love our toys. Um, my wife loves to be comfortable. Well, folks, come down here and see Mike Perkins and quite frankly, come and buy this Vengeance. It's one of the best things we have and apparently priced really well, yeah, which cool. I didn't know anything about, well. but that's kind of cool. Also, I love the, the little bed up yeah, there. So well, we didn't talk much about this, but this is really cool. Your home entertainment system, your fireplace. That fireplace will heat up 399 square feet of this coach. You know, wow. heat up most all of this coach. Well, again, thanks for, you know, visiting us today. And I'm sorry we're doing our live thing on Monday, but I will be gone next Friday. And just come on down, talk to Mike Perkins or any of our staff. But I'm telling you, Mike Perkins knows this unit very well. So if you want to come look at this vengeance, please do. And obviously snatch it up before it's gone, because if you don't, someone else will. I'll see you a week from this coming Friday. Take care. Thanks, guys. The coffee pot's on, the welcome mat's out. Your dreams come true in your very own eyes.